guys. Now this is uh, the proper way in Bart May to do a Ying Jiao and Eagle Claw. These little first two bottom fingers are going to start the coil, right? And like that. And this knuckle is facing the opponent. It's not out there like this in our system. It's down because we're using this as a DIMAC application <coughs> hidden. So basic ways to grab someone's wrist. Most people will just latch on and the whole hand will go around and squeeze and they're unaware that the wrist, uh, the person's wrist and hand has uh, play. Right, so that's a downfall on grabbing just like this. It should be only for a quick second, right? If you do it like this and this is loose because then they can re-attack you with chi and stuff like that. So a, a way to latch down is, see, okay, there's a couple of different ways, but okay, the first way <laughs> is using this this bone on the outside of your hand to wrap the last two digging in to your hand uh, to your fist right and that should be painful in itself if you get that locked down so you gotta get underneath the bone right <clears throat> so when you latch like that and your see that knuckle uh, this bony protrusion will uh, allow you to use your pinky, not your pinky, your ring finger and your thumb to secure that wrist here and your palm will be on top. That little finger locks that hand from moving, right? Or less movement. The the next two fingers go beside that protrusion and digs in underneath. And you're gonna be using the bone of the sides of your fingers. It's not the fingertips on this, right? And the sides of your thumb, the bone is gonna, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna wrap. Maybe I'm going to do it this way. Um, not all the way around. It has to just go under and on the uh, lung meridian. Right? <clears throat> so when you grab and you've got your around your wrist and your thumb, but your thumb is going to be rubbing underneath on that lung meridian. This locks down the wrist, the last two. This over the bony protrusion. And notice how I'm not wrapping all the way around. This finger's open. I've seen some people use uh, the finger to get a point. All right, so that's the first one using that knuckle, uh, that bone, sorry, I keep saying knuckle the last two fingers onto the hand and digging in underneath into the flesh under the bone <coughs> securing the wrist once you lock it in it's very hard to move the thumbs cutting in and there's a twisting and pulling until you get the place the hand can be like this, it can pull down on the outside here to help, or the dim mac way is to these two fingers and your knuckle is going to be going into the triple heater point like this. 
and it like that and on top and these other two secure and you use ging and like this with a shake so when you when you cola or come up there's a snap so once it's secured that finger can go up and find its way down into using that in and tsh, and I've uh, if you've heard my dim Mac story on the podcast my friend passed out so this is the palm up and all the different you got the heart meridian from the little finger comes down so remember they take pulses here in acupuncture and Chinese medicine so it is a very important right that's why you never cut yourself this way right <laughs> but the joint of the hand is one part of the look gain so when you lock down one part of the body you've already taken away one part of their power <clears throat> so the points around the wrist you should be investigating you can if you're doing it the other way this way hand on top if, if you've got the hand like this and you've caught them this way you do the opposite locking down in here right so you got to make sure that wrist is secure at the wrist and the hand from movement not just up on there and there's free movement right so you got to get in uh, around that bone and use your inside of your uh, fingers when you grab to rip in and just try it on yourself just <laughs> I take no responsibility of course <clears throat> I take none but when I've done this with students just the just grabbing and not using the third right because the third is the the part that combines it all but if you get that wrist properly and use your your, your fingers into the nerve you're going to get people like starting to do all weird shit because it's painful right so there's a different to grabbing someone's wrist and yanking them or seizing the hand and wrist from movement so when you slide down you're using you can use this way with just the, th uh, the first one over the bone and the last three in and that will secure the hand you got all locks you can do from there right <clears throat> so the way you can grab people don't just always grab and think first the <laughs> basics is how to just grab someone but when you start to bill sow and slide back you're locking into so the hand is not as free right and you're really talking on those uh, nerves <laughs> right <laughs> and all those pressure points all right so that's how you can grab using as long as you, you're training all your different claw strengths in your hand when you do grab someone they should be able to feel it straight away, the strength in those forearms and your ying jiao, it's like talons, right? But these two here are secret little things for you to grasp, right? Just cause you see these three, it's these two also that are secure in the hand and not just then that would be just a tiger claw, wouldn't it? Just grab them like that. All right, but there's three here. 
you can use the secure here and those last three into the wrist and you feel it straight away all right so that is a little something about Bart May's Dim Mac Eagle Claw skill right so when you hit when they've grabbed or you build and then you claw down this knuckle here so you're gonna depending on the person if you've got a smaller wrist that's easy to do a wider wrist it's hard to get that in so there's ways to secure and if it is there bam all right all right here's some more old notes that i did a long time ago in the 90s one was on yin yang philosophy on the body uh, morning and night positive and negative girl and boy left and right front and back um, in your patterns you have techniques that you hit high kick low negative the positive you have techniques which you hit the front to the back you have movements which go across the body negative the positive have moves in patterns that don't work well on women but are better on men females a little bit more flexible um, doesn't mean you can't do can't hurt them what I meant by that is a lot of uh, yin people have got a little bit more flexibility and it might take a little bit more talk so a little bit more yangs involved um, if the person is yang you would use a yin technique Remember this is a long time ago. <laughs> things change the way I see things, yes and no. A technique that opens the body is a yin attack. One that collapses the body is a yin attack. When striking meridians like the yang, energy is with the flow. The yin is against the flow for the best results. Noon to midnight, upper body, midnight to noon, lower body. And then I drew my own uh, 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 you know, drew my own diagrams and it's got yin negative hand shao yin heart meridian for combat use. Yolkumun would use this meridian a hundred percent of the time. It starts at the two ligaments of the armpit down to on the inside bicep muscle to the inside elbow joint along the ulna bone and to the little finger on the inside of and the start of the uh, the fingernail effective for seizing or to punch at certain points points number one two and three uh, there are nine pressure points located on the Shaoyun heart meridian and here's um, something that I did for my students. This is for a pressure point test. Uh, one, name all the 36 points in Chinese and English. All the 36 deaf points, the sum sup look say you. Also sketch and draw the human body, fill in all pressure points, 36. How many meridians are in the human body? Now add the associated point with the correct meridian and correct internal organ which five element belongs to this assignment has to be completed and handed back to Sifu Gary no later than the 8th of November 1994 oh my god information on pressure points go to the library or get books on acupuncture Chinese medicine etc uh, and good luck and <laughs> study hard regards Sifu Gary fail and you'll have to do it all again to pass your grading so as you see I took everything serious you know but everything that I could do just to better myself in the arts alright guys tablets